Welcome back to Metroid Prime Hunters! Now that we've, uh, cleared up the Celestial Archives, we have three more Octolifts to find! We move now to Alinos! There are three hunters there! Yeah, there are! That's alright, though. I'm just waiting patiently. We have an entire, uh, ha second half of the planet to explore here. Cool! Yeah. I'm all for content. So, first off, let's uh, make a stop by somewhere that's pretty important. Is it a, a freezer? Maybe? Not, not, not exactly. Okay. Is it this planet's version of the Celestial Archives maze? Uh, no. Aw, oh, man. Uh, oh! Oh, hey! Uh, hi, Candon! Candon has decided to, to, to greet us What's here. What's going on, man? Uh, sorry you're getting your shit pushed in. <laughs> My god! Wow! <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> so... <laughs> Slight distraction. So the thing with the uh, hunter fights is that when you enter certain rooms, they can appear, like, by, by random. But huh. when they do appear, they don't appear again. Oh my god, so that's one of the three hunters down within the first few seconds. But I, I, I don't mean I killed them. I mean that you know they 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 fucked off, and as long as I'm still here on the planet, they're not going to show up again. They'll be replaced with uh, a guardian. Right. But there's two other hunters, hunt you know, roaming around too. So uh, we'll expect to see them at some point. And here they them, are. Sure. Uh oh. God, that'd be funny. So I have uh, two grievances with uh, well, uh, two two things to highlight in today's uh, level. What you got for us? One of them is a pretty fun idea for for a room, and the other one is uh, pure hell, and uh, I think it's the same person who needs to be reprimanded. Okay. Or severely uh, fired. Well, we're, we're going like, on that. Like fired severely, like not, not not just like we have to let you go. I mean, like you know, brought out in front of the like the entire. Oh, Trace is here, by the way. Oh, hi, Trace. What's going on, needs, to be, needs to be brought out in front of everybody and uh, <laughs> publicly, publicly ridiculed. ridiculed. <laughs> everybody uh, takes a chance to sign a pink slip, you know, as like a yearbook before it gets to the person who's being fired and say, well, sorry about your time here, you know, maybe, you know, <laughs> good luck somewhere else. I, I just remember my uncle discussing uh, the one time, it's, it's all about corporate language on how you know somebody has either been fired or they left. Mm -hmm. uh, normally when you hear we're going in a different direction, they got fired. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, person who made this uh, specific room in Metro Prime Hunters, uh, we're going in a different direction with uh, with your employment here, so sorry. So, there's one room I want to check out first. This is the room that's uh, kind of a good idea. I, li I like this room as an idea. You gotta find it first. It's a specific purple room, though. Purple? It's purple. You can use shot curl to clear out these yellow doors here. It's really confusing the world I got here. Here we go. Ah! Right here. Hello, purple. So you just, uh, Pew? shoot that door, go into Morph Ball, and into the magma you go. Uh, what? Ow. Ow. Uh, wait, is this hurt? This is called the magma drop. You are constantly taking damage, but there's what? health pickups, so that way you don't uh, hurt so bad. What? Yep. And this is required? Uh, not required, but uh, if you want to get all the pickups, which is what I want to do, or okay, we, okay. we, we got to do this. I was about to say, if this is just how you normally traverse this, this, this is horrid. No, th th this is optional. Okay. But it's a fun little, just aside. I do like the idea that you're racing against the clock, essentially. Yes. Oh, although being hurt constantly is a really grating noise, I, I'm realizing now. Yeah, a little bit. You know, three damage a second. It's, it's not too bad. But now we got to go back up. Well, you're, it's what? very slow, though, so we have to go with a bomb jump. Oh, ew. <laughs> okay, that's actually awesome. <laughs> which suits- which shoots you up like mad this time. Oh, that's cool. Cause, uh, ah! because you're- you're- you're in liquid. But- Makes sense. It just doesn't you go gotta be all kidding. the way- Go no, all just the way. way! Oh, no! <laughs> Quick, do it again. You might Donk. be able to save it this time. <laughs> Boom! Alright, one more go. We still got plenty of time, though. Then the- the, the health pickups they give you are very, very generous. And just no, uh, and you, when, when you no. slow your ascent, that's a good time. Oop, ow. No, no. There's a universal ammo pickup, which is what we're doing all this oh, for, that really. That is hilarious. Kaboom. Up. And, and over. Got... And then slowly hip. back down. Hey, there we go. Uh, worth it, though. Boom. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that was pretty worth it. NGL, pretty worth it. I just dropped you back here. Cool. 
So I like that. that yeah, was a, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was an example of uh, doing something different, but uh, oh. having fun. Then the uh, uh, oh, hi. Hunt hunter showed up. Uh, Weevil! What's going on, my bro? She went into the lava! Go! No, no, no! <laughs> Now's our chance! Oh, there's Guardians here, too. There's Guardians and Weevil. He's just making friends with everybody, isn't so, he? So, uh, if we hadn't taken out the other hunters, do you think all three of them would have been here at a certain point? The, just fighting one another? The doors lock when you're fighting another hunter. So they couldn't get in, or...? I don't think it would have worked that way. I, I don't think okay. it would have let me go anyway if there was a hunter here. See, I think that would have been cool if the Guardians represent a hunter that could have been there fighting you. But that's just, you know, a side thought. So now we can open this door over here. So that's all three of them done in the first, like, five minutes. All we have left are Guardian fights. Yeah, that's it. Oh, another one! Wait. Guardian, Guardian this time. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, easy. I may not have mentioned this, but about Shot Coil, it does more damage the more you uh, lock on to a target. Oh, progressively more damage? Yeah, so uh, it, it'll do, like, chip damage, and then when you have it on long enough, it just, it's just, yeah. Nice. Nope. Oh. He kind of got it high stuck around. There. So this place is called the Combat Hall. Combat Hall. The time for a Metroid tournament arc? No, this is a map in uh, multiplayer. Oh, okay. The, the, oh. the only way this exists, like, this doesn't go anywhere. It just goes up there. There's nothing up there. This ah. whole place exists just for multiplayer. Gotcha. Let's see here. Oh, a ghost. We use the room for combat training of Olympic military recruits. In this room, we're for some of our greatest heroes. Oh, so it's a place to play online and, uh, and shoot a whole bunch of noobs. If only Nintendo Online was still alive. What's this place? Ooh, whoa. Wow. I think we just walked into perfect dark. Pretty. Hmm, what is this place? Well, we need all eight octoliths to be here. Oh, shoot, is this the finale? This is the Olympic Cannon. Oh. The ultimate... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, 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 yes, yes, I know, I don't have them all yet. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Is this the ultimate power that was being talked about? This is the way they seal away the ultimate power. Oh. So the Olympics uh, trapped Gurria in a seal sphere using all of their uh, psychic powers that they could that they could muster. Then they put... Uh, they uh, used eight octoliths to create this Olympic cannon to power it to shoot a hole between dimensions to seal Gurria to make sure that nobody ever, you know, w awakens it. Hmm. They did all this to make sure that it would be, it would stay sealed and it wouldn't be just accidentally released. You would have to intentionally get the eight, uh, the eight octoliths, activate the cannon, open the hole between dimensions and let him out. And the Guardians are uh, not happy about this uh, development here, and I think one of them went through a wall to get to me. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's fine. At this point, it's it's okay. Looks like you're doing a lot more damage this time than you were when we first started seeing the Guardians. Are they weak to specific elements? Or? Some of them are. If they're just firing the basic power beam, then they, I think they're more uh, susceptible to the hunter weapons. Okay. But like I said, charge beam works good too. Nice. So, all right, now we can move on to the next part where we can find the three artifacts and, you know, get the next Octolith. Does every planet have a chamber like that, or just here? It's just here. So we do have to come back to this planet at least one more time. When we get all of the Octoliths, we're going to have to come back here and activate the final boss, essentially. Nice. Well, we got to get uh, three more Octoliths first, and uh, these guys are standing in my way. I would appreciate if you would just fucking move. There's something I noticed about this game. Yeah. You know how when, uh... There we go. There's a... You have a bunch of enemies in a game that are specifically named. In a game like this, I noticed they introduced them all in the beginning, but there have been, like, no other cutscenes in the game to show them, like, landing on the planet or doing anything. They just kind of appear. Well, the Guardians? No, no, no. The, the other Hunters. Yeah... They're just kind of there. I was about to say, they're, they're kind of a, a side thought. About the only one who has any kind of a cutscene is, like, Silux. Mm hmm And uh, Metroid fans like to hype him up a little bit, too. Tendrils of blue smoke shall weave the geometry of violet crystal. This will all make sense later. Okay. 
I believe you. So, uh, a little nasty thing here is a drop down there. It's good for coming back. Yeah, I, I noticed. Awkward place to put that, though. So now we have entered into the Olympic Gardens. We got a red war wasp there that fires lava spikes now, essentially. Oh. Adjudicator takes them out, no problem. Good job, Adjudicator. <laughs> I find missiles have one use, it's for splash damage, really. That's pretty nice. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find excuses to use it, though, but everything else just works better. Oh, hello. So there's Silex's ship. Later. We won't fight him, but he's here. Well, good to know. If he was half the hunter that the fandom makes him out to be, I would say he has the other three Oculiths. Everybody calls him the favorite of Samus's rival hunters. Yeah, it hasn't done much in game, but there's just it's one specific scene in Metroid Prime 3 that people say, "Oh yeah, okay. Silux." Yeah, that's why I recognize that name. Mm-hmm. So he does come back in Metroid Prime 3. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe he's the post-credit scene. See, they bring him back because you know most of the other hunters are you know some evil or... from from some violent, angry uh, armpit of the cosmos. They come and. <laughs> But uh, Silux, he is specifically anti-Federation. And where oh, we don't okay. always agree with the Federation, we're more pro-Federation than he is, and they hate us because of that. Uh, like, not by much. It's kind of like, you know, we're like 5% for the Federation. Uh, all the other stuff, it's just like, can you please stop making ultimate power well, with Metroids? pre-fusion, we're on pretty good terms with the Federation. So right now, we are, we are like... Like, we're doing this for the Federation. I keep forgetting this is pre-fusion. Yes, this is... this is Between Metroid 1 and 2? All we've done now is we've done Metroid 1 and Metroid Prime. And that's it. Oh, Th wow. That's it. So we're still very much like the, Oh, sure, Mr. Federation, man. We'll yeah, do what sure. you want. No problem. Silex uh, realizes that we're just another Federation stooge, and, you know, he hates us the most. Oh, that's so sad. So what do you think is better for Metroid? I'm asking you this as a big Metroid fan. What do you mean? Uh, so all the regular sequels to Metroid have Samus by herself mainly. Yes. The Metroid Prime games seem to have other characters that are added to help out the story. I.e., you know, Metroid Prime 3. It's just in Prime 3, really. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you have one character in, Met in Metroid Prime 2, but he's basically saying... He he's basically the one who uh, gives you the quest to begin with. It's like, okay. oh, hey, good to see you here. Oh, hey, uh, so our planet's kind of fucked up. Could you could you save it? Thanks, great. Would love it if you did that. It just seems like there's more plot development, because Metroid... Uh... There, yeah, there, there's a lot more cutscenes, a lot more plot development in Metroid Prime 3, because they had characters, they had voice lines. It's, 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 it's a whole big thing. That's why 3 is so beloved. So what do you think is better for Metroid? Do you think the, you know, your Metroid Dreads versus your Metroid Primes... Which one do you think would bring in a new audience if it was their first game? I think Metroid Dread's done a pretty good job so far. Hell that, yes it did. Because Me Metroid Dread is essentially what makes a good 2D Metroid game. It's like, it's... This is exactly what we wanted! <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for! So, you know, I don't think a cast of characters would exactly help or... What the... A UFO! don't think a cast of characters would really hurt or help Metroid. It just depends on how you use them. If you have characters rattling in my ear every so often to say, Samus, do this, Samus, do that, well then we'd have another other M on our hands, wouldn't we? Well, see, that's why I think Hunters is so such an odd duck. Because it has characters. It just doesn't do anything with them. They're just there. The Hunters are just supposed to be for the multiplayer, really. Because you can play as the Hunters in multiplayer. That is nice. I suppose it's kind of, kind of hype for the multiplayer aspect. D this game exists solely for multiplayer, essentially. So do you think they should have axed the single player? Or do you think it's Well, there's it's no point. Why would you ax Why would you ax the single player? That'd be that's a stupid move to make. Well, if they're so focused on multiplayer, why do you need the single player? To get Metroid fans to actually buy it because no one's going to buy a multiplayer only DS game because there've been some multiplayer only DS games that, you know, sold terribly. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but what the hell is Federation Force? <sighs> <laughs> it's not it's not multiplayer, yeah, it's supposed to be for more local multiplayer. <laughs> you know, it's it's around that age when Nintendo uh, thought that God people wanted to take it. their 3DS games and uh, take them everywhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good one, Nintendo. I fire spawn. <laughs> so, we have our first actual mini boss. 
What? This is a mini boss. Wait, this really? Is, yep, this is the oh. fire spawn. I hope it spawns fire. Otherwise, it's just, you know, the blank slate of a boss. Hiding behind the wall works. Yes, this is good cover. He's basically just gonna open his mouth and, you know, shoot out fire, which burns pretty good. But when he opens his mouth is when he's vulnerable, so just... Blah. Blah. I do like how he kind of, like, action dives back into the lava. <laughs> Oh, hold on, I want to see it again, because it's kind of funny. Please, action dive. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's really focused on you. I think you have him in an infinite loop. Yeah, this... Oh. Ah! <laughs> pre pre pretty cheesy. He is, a, he is in a molten bowl of cheese. Ooh, nothing to it. Ooh, like Up here we have fondue. a new weapon! What? Yes! The fire beam. The fire beam. Or... The plasma beam. The magmal! The Magmal. This, I think, is Spire's weapon. Hmm. It's basically just a big old explosion of fire. It can hurt you, though, so don't stand too close. Oh, seriously? It has splashback? Yeah, it, yes, it does. That's awesome. Let's go through here. Another E tank! Hey! hey, hey. Right. Really handy there. How many E tanks do we have left? Like two? Uh, yes. Nice. How many do we have? Uh, 20, six. Six. Uh, yeah, two left. Holy crap! <laughs> All right, where so, are we next? so we can stay here. Uh, universal ammo will keep appearing here. Let's go ahead and get a quick refill. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. Now, what do we got here? Go ahead and give it a scan. Shoot the thing. Yeah, what? Well, still a couple walls to open. You're not gonna... Oh, there we go. There's, there's a force field here, there's, but it's basically just magmal uh, stuff, but uh, you come through here and... Well, a guardian uh, has uh, some words All for right, you. guardians. It, it, was there a party we weren't invited to and they're just saying, SURPRISE! It's good to use Adjudicator against him because he's got fire. Shit. It goes away, no problem. That was awesome. No problem. Now I'm just wondering what it would be called if Doofenshmirtz made it. Then you can scan that. Adjudicatorinator! It is the Jutakatonator! <laughs> <laughs> we knew that if we did not stop Gurria, it would rampage across the galaxy, devouring everything in its path. Hmm. Hmm. So, ultimate power. Contains unknown characters, untreads. Well, then why have it? Why have a scan if, there's, if I can't even fucking read it? Maybe that's New Game Plus. Ooh. They're, they're really hyping up this, uh. Gurria. This Gurria, aren't they? North Korea, South Korea. It's just a constant war. Whee! Yeah. Here's Shriek Bats. But they look fire-based. Why didn't you scan the fire bats? Ah, here we go. Oh, this boy. A, this is a big encounter room. Oh! So I've been trying to use uh, missiles as a way to get rid of these spawners. It seems to work pretty good. Something's nipping at your ankles there. Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I just gotta take care of the spawners. It's just like little grubs. Come on, there. Ow. So you have a fire. You got fire guys and ice guys. You gotta make sure you know which one is which. So I got that. Switch to magma. I can shoot these ice guys and take them out pretty easily. Oh, Duck. it actually is like a grenade launcher. Duck. That's so interesting. Damn it. Yeah, it is a grenade launcher. Yeah, grenade launcher, I suppose, is the That's word. Fun. Yeah. Again, trying to make it feel like an actual first-person shooter, but also trying to make it feel like a Metroid, but oops, it made it feel like a Mega Man game in a regular action game. You got my Mega Man in your Metroid. Oops. It's it's it's, it's just not the Metroid you're expecting. New is good, in my opinion. Straying too far away might be an issue. Oh, hello. They, they, they just don't exactly get how to make a Metroid. Which is funny, because they started it. Yeah, but most of the people who worked in it, I don't think, are there anymore. No, they're not. It's Gunpei Yokoi was, uh, was uh, you know, one of the big driving factors of Metroid. Yeah, and he unfortunately passed. Yeah. Sad. Can I just get the... There we there go. There we go. Artifact 1. Alright, that's the first one. Alright, about 20 minutes in, first Sheesh. artifact. Hell yeah. We got here a ship deck portal if you need it. Very important. And now let's go explore more of the hot planet. Yep, we're gonna go get our, uh, our second artifact now. Ow. There's that fall damage. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Wrong way. Uh, oh god, fall damage in Metroid. Never thought I'd see the day. There you go, go through here and it take, takes you back out there. God, that revelation last episode was so funny. Oh, damn. Uh, there. Okay. Got it. It's like finding out Reese's for breakfast. It's just like, whoa. <laughs> So we go up this slope, we can uh, go up here now. Because we got the magma, we can open up that door back there. And there's some spawners that uh, are here to welcome us. See, we there was a party we weren't invited to. We're the wrong guest. This is actually for Silex. So we're crashing this party. Excuse me. I would like I'm some of the hors d'oeuvres, please. Get out of my way. Nice shot, nice shot. Oh, turn over there, too. And just... Oh, that's what that noise is. Yeah, here. That was just another bug nipping at you. Okay. Up here, up that way. I mean. Aha. Uh -huh. Just step back a little bit because again, splashback. Ah! <laughs> Lovely fire drones. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, point blank. I think they shot you in the heart. So shoot. You're too late. So what we've been doing is been we've been uh, shooting these locks that align these jump pads to help us get to a specific section. Oh. Where the second artifact is. Hmm. So make our way back. And, and jump across Hoo -ha. over here, land on this perch. This okay. terminal over here will unlock the door we're trying to get through. Security system deactivated. Where is this taking us? All the way over so, there. Boop, we gotta go through that door. Now how get that door? Oh, there's more two more jump pads down here we've activated. Oh my god. That we uh, didn't they got re, they got deactivated because we switched we switched rooms. Gotta love that uh, baby ran there, so we gotta shoot these locks again to reactivate them and the cutscene plays seriously? again. Yes. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Disgusting. Very disgusting. Gross. Ugh. Come on, DS, I know you're better than this. So here's a question for you. Uh-huh. Metroid 1 and 2 have each had good remakes. Yes, they have. Do you think this one could go with one? Uh, hmm. Do you think if Mercury Steam or Retro Studios were to actually remake Metroid Prime Hunters, do you think it could go over well? I think it would work. It might be one of those, you know, hey... 20 bucks. If they keep the same amount of content, then yeah, a $20 handy remake with updated controls might do wonders for there's, hunters and maybe shield add some more background and all that. So this little uh, cluster of rooms is called the crash site. Crash site? Wow! Well, what crashed here? I, mean, I don't know of any ship that crashed here or anything like that. You know, nothing like that, but... Maybe it was Silex. Unidentifiable interstellar matter, a result of an extraterrestrial collision. Aliens? In my Metroid game? Ruin came quickly as the cancer swept like fire across our world. Is this Phazon? So this could be a tertiary link uh -oh. between Metroid Prime and Guria. Uh oh. Some kind of interstellar meteor uh -oh. crashed down to Earth, oh, no. <laughs> overtook everything. Uh oh. And the, and the Chozo is like, well, we got we got to seal this thing away. So they they uh, created the artifacts and the the impact crater. Oh god. The Olympics said, oh hell no, and tore open a hole in space time in order to keep it there. I feel like there should be something there, but there's not. Oh my god. That's why there's the Prime here in Metroid Prime. Hunters. Uh, loading. There we go. So even though it's a different culture and a different game, it's still very much phase on adjacent. I mean, world domination and fungus are kind of universal. Space ick. So just for uh, safety's sake and uh, because this next part is absolute, pure, unadulterated, agonizing hell. Dog shit. We're going to take a save. Okay, cool. But real quick, uh, I want to go over something. I actually missed something earlier. Uh oh. I found this out after the fact, after I've already got the Oculus and everything, and actually kind of started the seventh episode, the uh, next episode for I, for then. But oh, missile expansion here. Hello, missile. It's just kind of sitting there. But yeah, I just 
Just keep in mind that we got that. God damn. So your missiles are going to be off until the next episode. Yeah, it's just no, we got that. I, I I went back and got them, but you know they're they're, they're here. It's all fine. That's fine. I really don't like how they did these portals because you can't tell which one goes to which. You got to remember which way your ship was facing. Uh, just another another fine mess. Anyway, let's go back, go through this door, and get through probably the single worst section in the game. Another maze. All right. This could be a potential place for a guardian or hunter to attack, but seems like the RNG is in our favor this time. A quick look around. We got a. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's, that's nice. Magma powered. They call this place the. Uh, this is the processor core. Okay. Processing. Probably supplies power to the whole place. There's our. Uh, there's our uh, stronghold uh, portal down there. Saw a door, but I think that's the one you came through. Mm -hmm. Uh, looking for oh. that. Hey! UA expansion! Doesn't seem too bad, right? Seems alright. That all depends. You're kind of trailing off. So we go down here. Okay. Still... We slip through this little tunnel down here. Still seems okay. And welcome to... Another maze. The Piston Cave. Oh! Oh! Get, oh, and there's no guardrails! You fall in the lava, though. There are places that you can get up at and, you know, and protect yourself. You know, uh, it's okay. It's that's, all good. That's it's all a, good. That's a little better. Oh, no guardrails? No guardrails. Oh, God. It's the Piston Cave. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. You're doing all right. It's not too Th bad. This one might hurt. Yeah. Little gaps in between, though. Ooh. Moment yeah. Momentum isn't what it could be, <laughs> but boost can help you out there. Now we're getting mean. Instant death? Uh... Oh god. Go! This one goes faster. Go, go. See, that wasn't too bad. Next leg! <laughs> okay, never mind. This kind of sucks. Yeah, oh yeah, that is instant death. Gotta do it just right. That's a crush. So what happens when you do, uh, get crushed by these? And we're about to find out! Game over! Yep. Instant death. Wow. Cool. So I'm, I'm leaving this in just to show you that if you do die, you'll be brought back to the, uh, the processor core. And when that happens, unfortunately, you're gonna have to get that UA expansion again. Well, that's okay. Don't forget it, though. Don't forget it. Just saying. Are you able to leave and come back and then get the checkpoint again? Don't know how the checkpoint works, but you can just, you know, go down here. To, it's 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 a whole song and dance to try again, though. It's absolutely maddening, and it's just... Why would you do this? Piston room. You'd be glad to know that this is going to be the, the ultimate run. You know, I thought we were going to spend, like, you know, hours here, but... Hey, this, good, good job. Two attempts. Here's how you do it. Perfection. You get, get through here, you know, your boost helps you, you can just... Yes. Then you just, uh, you know... Gaps in between there, yeah. you just boost on through there. Yeah, easy. And now for the instant death. And now for the instant deaths. Meow! I think the hardest part for me would be slowing down. Yeah. There we go. Alright, for realsies. Okay, up. There we go. You gotta go up here. Ooh! Whoa! It's tight. You get your boost ready here, because at the top there's a hole, and you just gotta... Hoop. All right. Next phase. I can see the jitteriness. We're in We're in the clear, but are we? Good. Good. Okay. Good smash. Oh, jump. That's and a fake you out. It doesn't really smash yeah, you. that's a fake out. This that will smash that's you, though. That's real smash. That'll also smash. This is safe. Reverse smash. And... Oh. Yeah, it is. And... Then Oh yeah! But now for the worst part. Uh, th there can be a worst part. For some reason, Ooh. the game is not allowing you to go back into full suit mode. It says no, no, you have to do all of this in morph ball mode. Why? Oh because we said, and we put stairs here, so you have to bomb jump three times to get there. I wonder if it's because you can clip through it. 
And there's our third artifact. Almost guaranteed you can clip through some of these walls. And they just didn't want you to be full size. Gotta bomb him. Get out of here, because locked me in so well. Uh, uh, bomb jump to jump. You gotta bomb jump to get up there. You gotta bomb jump to open the fucking door. Why'd you, why'd you do it like this? Compared to the maze, this isn't that bad. This actually looks like fun. Yeah, it looks like fun to have to, you know, do it over again because Until you, you have died. to do it, yeah. I'm only good because I had to do this like two, three times. That's actually a really good. Fantastic, All right. Fantastic job. There. Time to fight a tower. Time to fight a tower of Babel. Maybe. Tower? I already fought a tower. See that, Ernest? Another eyeball. It's another slench. All right. Please don't call it by its government name. Just call it what it is. It's an eyeball. It's a slench. Yo, what's up? I'm here for your octolith. I gotta love how these cutscenes are just Samus going into the same room to fight yeah, the seriously. same boss, but they're all different iterations of how she does oh, it. Oh, it is a tower! Huh? I fooled you. How dare. Alright, this fool is easy. Oh, is it? How confident do you feel on that? Pretty confident. With Cretafid level version 3. They just added more stuff to it. They got plasma, and they got the the chemical lasers. Overall bad time. God, were, were these towers made by Capcom? Circa 2007, 2008? It's like, yeah, we released the same thing, but we added a couple features. $60, please. That's Actually, I don't, I don't think they even did that for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Explains what they did in the 90s, though. Mega Man 5 and 6, anyone? Eh. A lot of people love Mega Man 5. I'm not there. A lot of people like six. I'm not there. I like six. Six. Six is one of my favorites. Centaur man. All right, shock coil. Oh, that is delicious damage. The health melts like like butter. I love it. Okay, so the at least the items you get throughout the game are helping to kill these things faster. Yes, they do get harder, but you, your arsenal grows and you become stronger, which is how it should be. That is so much better. Okay. Tower number three, not that bad. I guess. Can I just shoot the thing, please? Ow. Please have mercy. I'm begging you. The more phases you go into, the less time that they're vulnerable as well. Oh, shit. That, they do it? Okay. Wow. I still don't like that it's a set amount of damage. That's making this go a little longer but it is going faster than the last two iterations. Yes. Because you have Shock Collar, or whatever it's called. Because we have more Hunter weapons, it's, you know, we uh, can match the damage a bit more now. Ow, ow. The, sl oh. the Sledge especially, because that has, like, elemental damage. So that's going to be really su uh, susceptible to Hunter weapons as well. I do love how you're flexing on this stupid tower by jumping into its lasers on purpose. <laughs> so I don't like, care! Yeah, you, yeah, you want to hurt me? Yeah, hurt me, I dare you. Yes! Gone! Easy. Oh, that was so much better. So much better. Very happy about that, actually. An octolith number six? That is six, yes. Is ours. So how long do you think we have this time? Let's see, well, the last one was eight and a half minutes, I believe. All right, so what do you think we got now? Uh, probably six. Six minutes, you think? Six minutes. Hmm, okay. If I had to guess. Since we didn't have to go through too much hell to get here. Well, they like to throw in a whole bunch of fighters and, you know, guardians in okay, there, so... Okay, uh, I'm gonna say seven and a half. Seven and a half. Final answer. Okay, seven and a half, final answer. By the way, good job on the Oculus. Lost, Lost, we are all. We are all. Lost, we are all. We, we are all what? We're all what? Answer, please. All right, here's your answer. Seven and a half. How about five? But, oh, that's worse. Okay, cool. It's really bad. All right, run it. Gonna need it all. Yeah, go. Boost, go, 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 Oh man, this is not enough time. Yeah, I don't even remember where to go. They could have used an extra minute. And there's a guardian here. But you, you're the superpower gamer. 
who... Oh, shock well, collar. You're not helping me because he's moving around too much. Come on, shock collar. Oh, well, now he's just stuck in there. That was actually kind of funny. Shit. All right, how about shock coil? Uh... Or volt driver, I mean. Uh, hello? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There we go. What I hate is that, you know, sometimes they don't get aggressive. They just hide, too, which eats your time like fucking mad. I hate this. Duh. Go away. It's, <laughs> it's like, chase me, chase me. Then he gets in this jump thing, so he gets even harder to hit. God, there's like a new puppy. Chase me, chase me, chase me. You know you want to. The fuck is he? Yeah, I. the sporadic movements of the Guardians are annoying. Yeah, they are. Oh, my God. He can't kill him. You wasted a minute here. There we go. That almost took a whole minute. That was one room. Well, thankfully, every other room has a guardian, so... You got a fucking bucket! <laughs> oh, please tell me you got there in, the, like, the last ten seconds or something like that. Alright, so... Okay, use the ship portal. Oh, Drop down here, though. That. Just gotta find okay. that specific one. Jump in lava. Okay, okay. It's, part, it's all part of the process. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Another guardian! <laughs> He's in this fucking jump pad, Ian! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Wow! What a jerk. Hello? Oh, and he goes down there. Oh, okay. You run to the jump pad. Oh my god! Ah! Come on. You man. fucking shit heel! God fucking god. <laughs> You can't catch me! You can't catch ah! Jeez. Anyway. Okay. So no, huh? not that way. Okay. Nope, nope. Okay. Jump pad. Just turn jump left. Pad. Turn left. Jump pad. Over here. Over here. Down here. Yeah. To this door. Yeah. Down here. Alright. Yeah. There, got it. Yeah, it's right there. Three minutes left. Of course, there's more guardians. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why so many? <laughs> it's like he's losing his mind. He's like, <laughs> there's only one though, not three. Oh, that's nice. Shock hole was good there because it was a big open space, so I could like lock onto him better. He couldn't really escape as good. All right, through here. This one, we just have to jump through and whoosh back over. That's it's all good. Satisfying. That is actually satisfying. I probably could have jumped through that, but it's okay. That's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. You're fine. We could be better. We're fine. Duh! Poor wasp. Gone. Thought it was a guardian for a second. <laughs> Everything is now a guardian Good to God, you. God, not here, please! <laughs> you try to go wash your hands. It's just, oh no, another guardian coming out of the sink. And it's like walking to the kitchen and I hear, Duh! Oh, come on! <laughs> This is kind of unfair for the Guardian, he just kept... What if these are... For the Guardian? What about me? I've got two minutes! Well, I was just about to say, these are in... Uh, they almost look involuntary, like involuntary spasms. Feel sad for the Guardian that's about to lose his life. Trying to stop you. Where did he go? Wow, the timer kept going while you were in your pause menu. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hilarious. And with that a mean bad design. You gotta love it. Love to see it. It's mm -hmm. it's the best. I'm so Absolutely happy. Great, great. Wasting time. Minute down. We got a minute and a half left. Oh my god, he just won't Oh my god! Hold still, hold still. Really? And fucking There we go. Radar really helps you out though. Oh, the one use of the radar. Finding the <laughs> Finding, finding the enemies, that's yeah. what the radar's supposed to do, and it works well. Wow! Oh, a minute left. And... We're there. Nope, not there yet. Oh, we're nowhere near. Oh, shit. You got 57 seconds left. We're fine. There could, there could be another Guardian battle, though. Not in here. Oh, no! Okay, yes, in here. <sighs> There's not enough time. He's moving around so much. Why? <laughs> God, this is obnoxious. Die! Again, again, I'm glad you're playing Die! this. There we go. Huh. Anyway. I do I don't have enough time. 30, I do not have enough fucking time. 30 seconds left. Oh god. And here's the ship. Open the door! Here's, Open the door! Here's the ship! Come on! Come on! It's 20, 22 seconds! Oh, parkour! Jeez! Parkour! 15, 17, 16, <laughs> 15, 14, 13. Wow, you're even going slower on the stairs. 10. Nine. They eight. should have added one more minute to this. Go, 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 go! Oh, that's interesting. It automatically went to save. Now, like, uh, if you don't let the the thing play out, you can just keep pressing, you know, the button and it just keeps going. But we made it! Yay! We made it! Next time on Metroid Prime Hunters, new planet.
Oh, my God.